What up guys, it's Ray, and I want to take a moment to say welcome to the newest subscribers to the channel, and welcome to the Unwanted family, I really mean that, uh, make yourself at home, and if this is your first time here, welcome, have a look around, check out some of my other videos, if you like any of them, be sure to hit that subscribe button, how else are we going to be buddies? What up? <laughs> What up guys, this is going to be an update video on, on a lot of things, myself, Nico, the channel, things like that. This is specifically, this video is specifically meant for, how do I put this, not just a casual viewer or, or people that see one video and move on. This is meant for the subscribers, you guys, spe 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 specific, specifically. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's meant specifically for you guys, because you guys would be the ones that would be interested in, in any of this. So, so yeah, this is meant for that word for you guys. Alright guys, let's talk about Nikki first. Nico had an infection in his foot. If you don't know, there's a video on, on it on the channel. Uh, just a nightmare of a story. I uh, took him to the vet. They gave him antibiotics for two weeks. When he's on the antibiotics, the infection goes away. The second they stop, it comes back. So I took him back, told him that. They gave him the antibiotics yet again for another two weeks same thing happened took him back <clears throat> the vet said to me she had a theory this entire time that it was going to take at least a month of him being on antibiotics hold up wait a minute let me wait what so you mean to tell me you knew that it was going to take an entire month of him being on antibiotics to fix him and we've only been doing two weeks at a time why exactly whatever i said all right cool i said this is going to fix him let's do it so she said all right you know go home give him his antibiotics and then come back after you know antibiotics are done come back in a, you know in a month so that's what we did i gave him his antibiotics had to clean his two toes every day each time I had to do. I'd clean his foot. The poor guy had to wear a cone. Same shit again for another month. Month was up. Went back. We go back. Now the vet tells me she meant for us to come back a week before his antibiotics were up. <laughs> Wait. You. That's not what. This is top secret now. Okay. Don't don't share this with anybody. This is. Strictly on the down low, hush hush secret shit. This is like the, the men in black come to your house and like scramble your brain if you whisper a word of this to anybody. This is like, this, yeah, this is like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> you feel, yeah, you check it out, right? They got this thing out now, okay? It's called a telephone. You say it quickly, it's a telephone, okay? And anybody who owns a telephone gets an ID number, also referred to as a telephone number. I can give you my ID number and you can call me and we could talk, right? Without me even having to be there. What? I know, right? I'm saying crazy. Right, so you could have picked up the phone and said, "Hey, how's Nikki's foot going?" And I could, I could have told you. Furthermore, it's irrelevant because he was on his antibiotics for an entire month. The same shit happened. It went away. The second he was done, it came back. She says because we didn't come back before the month was up, and she didn't get to see his foot while he was on the antibiotics. Again, top secret telephone could have hit us up. We could have had exchange words, and we. Whatever. But so it's because we didn't come back, he had to do it again. Antibiotics for another month, the whole thing, then come back for a month was up. Alright, wait a minute. <laughs> it's irrelevant us coming back or not. If it was gonna work, it would have worked within that first month. It didn't. Therefore another month? What what is the point of this? And that's the when it hit me. Um I wasn't sure, but that's when it really hit me. But this is just nothing more than about money and getting us to come back as many fucking times as possible at this point. I mean, it makes no sense. If you had a theory that it was going to take an entire month to heal him, why wouldn't you treat him, you know what I mean, treat him that way from the jump? Why make us go two weeks, two weeks, then a month? And then when we did treat him for a month and it didn't work, your reasoning was the reason it didn't work is because we didn't come back and you didn't get to see him while he was on antibiotics. That is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. So that's where we're at now. I said whatever. Throw the vet. I figured okay, whatever. I um, kept my mouth shut again. I took him home. Antibiotics. Cleaned his foot every day. Actually twice a day uh, this time. Where, where we're at now is I took him back again. It was... <laughs> we didn't even get to see his vet. Alright, we go there. They stick us in a back room. We're there for an entire hour. Which is brutal for many, many reasons. They wait an entire hour to come in and tell us, your vet had an emergency, well, which is fine. I understand, not a problem. What, uh, what irked me was you wait an entire hour to come in and say, hey, your vet had an emergency, so it's gonna be a while. Or would you like to see a different vet? <laughs> 
You made me wait an entire hour in this room when that was an option? So we saw a difference that, I'm gonna be honest with you, it didn't really seem like she either cared or knew what she was talking about. I'm gonna be honest. Um, it seemed like she had no interest. She looked at Nikki's foot and said, oh, you know, it looks great. Yeah, no shit, it looks great. He was, he's on fucking antibiotics still. Of course it's gonna look great. That's been, you know, his diagnosis the entire time. Antibiotics, heals his foot. Second they stop, comes back. So of course it's gonna look great on antibiotics. I'm not even a fucking vet. That was free of charge. I, you, I, you didn't have to pay me for that. So according to her now, they come, you know, bring Nikki back home. And if it comes back now, it's gonna be a matter of him having to get x-rays to see if it's spread to his bone. If it's spread to his bone, I'm gonna be. Because this could have been prevented if she would have treated him from the get-go with, you know, a whole month instead of, you know, making us come back as many times as possible just to get more and more money. So yeah, that's where we're at. We're at right now waiting to see if it's gonna come back. So uh, hopefully it doesn't. I, I really hope so. That way my body can be cured and healthy. That's where we're at now with Nikki. Now as for me, myself and I, I didn't go back to that. That asshole. I couldn't. Not after how he behaved and acted and treated me. I just I couldn't. So I went with the final and only other option there was, which was the dental school. I'm not thrilled because before the wreck we had to go to, um, when we were younger growing up, we had to go to the dental schools and it was a very, very bad experience. I mean, very, very bad experience. So I didn't want to go back to a dental school, but I figured it was worth a shot versus going to that ass. So I went there. The dental, I don't know what, what, what they're called when they're in school. Uh, dentist in training? I don't know what they're called. She was uh, uh, younger, a little younger than me. She was super nice, very understanding, very, very helpful. She went out of her way uh, on everything to help me. I told her what happened with that other dentist. They were blown away by the way that dude acted. Um, at any rate, she immediately, while that day I was there, went and called the prosthodontics, the people that do your teeth. So she got me an appointment right then and there to go down to prosthodontics. So I went down a couple floors and I, I thought, great, we were gonna get with the ball going. And they brought over, because of my back and all that, I can't be treated like a normal patient, so they have to do different things. So they brought like the head, head guy in. And while that that you know, nice lady, the dental student and uh, the dental student for prosthodontics while they're talking the head guy came over and me and him were talking and he asked me about my back and I said yeah I I can't sit in your chair I said can I sit on the edge of your chair and he said there's no way I said w why not what do you mean I told them as well about the asshole that I saw before them and I said that guy according to him he I could stand up and he could do it and he laughed and he said no you can't he said that's not possible I said okay well why and he told he proceeded to tell me um because one, you have to be very still, I guess. So when they take measurements, they get proper measurements. Two, the molding stuff that they use, I guess, apparently. Um, when you move around, there's a, a, a more likelihood of it going down your throat and you're choking. So they, you can't do it and they won't do it. Since the guy that Dennis claimed he could do it standing up, they basically said flat out he was full of shit and didn't know what he was doing. So they didn't believe me at first that I couldn't sit in the chair. They asked me to sit in the chair. I sucked it up, sat in the chair. I didn't even make it. It was less than five seconds. And all of them said, you really can't sit in this chair, can you? I said, no, I, I can't, you know? And I said, can we lay it down completely flat and maybe I can bring a pillow? He said, no, because when you eat, you're not laying down. When you're eating and drinking, you're not laying down. So when they take your the mold, they want you in the same position you would be when you're eating, which is physically impossible for me. I, I So I, I kept talking to him and I said, look, I said, how long does it take per visit? He said it could take anywhere from an hour and a half to two hours. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. There's no way. There's no fucking way. I said, all right. I said, I, I said, look, it's been 15 years. I want teeth, man. More, I... I said, look, what happens if I stand up? I said, can I get up and move around in between whatever, I, I, you know? And he, they said, yeah, we could, we could, we could work that out. He said, but it's gonna be, it's gonna be hell for me. And they even asked if I could call my, um, my neurosurgeon to see if he couldn't give me like some kind of massive amounts of drugs. And I said, no, there's no point, and I'm not asking him that. No. So yeah, that's what I'm looking at. They said they can do it. It's just once again, there's a huge, major obstacle in my way. I just, I can't. I don't. I don't know if I can pull this off. I don't, I don't know. That's a huge, huge feat. An hour and a half or two hours? I just, I don't, I don't know. 
so that's where I'm at. I have an appointment on the 30th to go back and hopefully we can figure it out. Um, they also told me apparently there's like no bone left up here because when special needs removed everything, I'm guessing they had to take a lot of bone with them because everything was so infected back then. And then apparently there's two big lumps in the back, I guess from chewing that aren't supposed to, you're not supposed to have that. So I don't know which I don't know if it means they're gonna have to open it up and file the bones down and cut them. I, I I don't know. I guess I'll find out on the 30th. I don't care about that honestly. What I'm more concerned about is that chair. But I'm I'm gonna give it a go because I want this I, more than anything. So I intended this for me to be more upbeat, but it got more real than anything, I guess. Um, I want to talk to you about where I'm gonna go with the channel, I guess. I don't want to focus so much on funny skits and bits. I'm not a comedian. I don't pretend to be. I don't try to be. So I don't want to focus on like just you know doing funny skits every week. I'm not gonna steer away from them. I just I'm. I'm not going to try to push one out every week. Um, I'm going to go, I'm just going to go back to mainly talking videos like this. And then if it strikes me, you know, if, the, if, if the mood hits me, I may. Yeah, if you lucky. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but if I get like an idea, like I did with Cinderella or, or the sports one, or uh, there's a couple other ones. Like I'm not, I, I don't want to stress over trying to, come up with something funny and I just I, I, I honestly just want to hang out with you guys and just kick it you know I want you to come hang out with me Nick and say I just want you to feel like you're hanging out with a friend with family we're just having fun kicking it and that's what I want to focus more on versus trying to force out comedy shit like I said I'm not a comedian I don't pretend to be I know I'm not but I want to focus more on just hanging out and just doing these talking videos even if they're not that long even if it's like only a minute or two you know what i mean i also am going to be doing another billy ray slash kit kat skit i came up with an idea for him i also wanted to do a, a funny sports fan i guess it's a dig video if you will at sports fans i know how uppity sports fans are like how intense they are the sports fans if i do do this sports video keep in mind it's meant to be funny you know, so don't make me go crazy out on your ass and that, that, yeah, don't make me go crazy out. <laughs> but right, guys, I think that about sums everything up. I was hoping this would be a little bit more upbeat, but remember, you know, remind. <laughs> remembering, remember the time. No, I don't. No, uh, got old age, got Pepto Bismol. What the fuck? What? I don't know. What was I saying? Why you always lying? I don't lie. Okay, focus. This ain't gonna make the cut. I'm not gonna put this in here because this is the shit I don't put in here. This is, this is, yeah, this is the shit I gotta sort through. <laughs> Woo! What was I saying? Corn fizzled on that, y'all. I completely corn fizzled. What the fuck was we talking about? But yeah, guys, I just wanted to update you. Oh, 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 oh. Ding, tang, wada, wada, bing, bang. I remember. The time. I just lost it, son of a bitch. I, 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 English. Uh, Alright, let's see. Think, form, and compose a sentence. I can do this. I believe in myself. I believe I can fly. I'm gonna be honest with you. Some things bothered me about YouTube and uh, it got me to thinking about a lot of things. And it dawned on me that folks come to YouTube for entertainment amongst many other things. Knowledge, just a lot of things. And I always wanted a channel just to, to, to you know, to be real. You, you know what I mean? I didn't want folks to come here, you know, just to see, you know, a, an act. You know what I mean? Like I said, I wanted you. I want you to come here and hang out. Feel like you're hanging out with a, a real friend, a family. You know, not some character that I put on. You know, put on like like my name. It's my real name. It's not a what do they call it a stage name. It's it's just me. You know what I mean? And that's always wanted to be. But at the same time, I did recently acknowledge that YouTube is 
merely entertainment for a lot of people. A lot of people don't want the real. So to that aspect, I came up with a compromise where I'm, I'm gonna try to, no matter what I'm talking about, I'm gonna try to be upbeat and keep it fun ish as, as, as i can without losing the realness because i i i that's just me and i just i want to be real with you guys i don't want to put on an act like i said so that's the compromise i came up with all right i babbled on way way too long i got to go i gotta go yeah i got you 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 kept me here way too long that's cruel that that, that that's that's that what is that that's that's see corn flustered I gotta go. <laughs> Alright guys, as always, I wanna leave you with this. No matter what you want in life, go for it. Never give up, never back down. You got this. If you don't believe in yourself, know that I, we, believe in you. So believe in yourself. You got this. What? What's the matter? What? Something wrong? What? Oh, don't judge me. You're just jealous. You, you jealous. I, I'm rocking this hat. You gotta admit, though, I'm rocking this hat. Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't judge me. You saw nothing.